what's up y'all we starting off real busy in the airport trying to get some work done while waiting to board because i simply didn't have it in me to get it done yesterday but hey it's getting done and that's what really matters this is actually my first time flying out of laguardia for years and i honestly cannot believe that they've outdone jfk another surprising thing is that i actually have time to sit and eat before boarding because usually your girl is rushing and running before the gate closes and this airfly gadget shout outs to my girl Corey I don't have to use them little headphones that Delta provides and I can keep the surround sound and noise cancellation with my airpod maxes like how amazing am I right and one thing that always kills me though and I don't think I'll ever get over it is how big Atlanta's airport is like why I gotta take a train a couple of stops just to get my luggage and why do I get lost every single time but shout outs to me knowing how to follow signs because I finally made it and of course I'm welcomed by a pup and mimosas to start the weekend right greetings and good day we were supposed to wake up mad long ago to go to dinner and we slept in nice. but we're gonna try to make it to dinner on time <laughs> we're gonna do our very best <laughs> I didn't record our night out. I don't know if this is catching anything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. Sometimes. <laughs> Ever so often. <laughs> It's like you guys are only catching me at my worst. But we went out last night. We got back late as hell. So I don't even know how I'm up right now. I popped up at 8 o'clock and we probably went to sleep like 4.30. But here I am. And today we're going to get ready for brunch. I say we stop by first time. Mazi. Yeah, me too. You're going to yawn in my face. Mazi. so annoying. Ow, ow. Ow. Mazi. <laughs> Listen. I mean, this is actually better. Ooh. Relax. That's <laughs> how he turned his head. Yeah. You can't come out, stink. Oh. Oh. Watch time. Corey, say hi. Hey, y'all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You need 
unsere Freunde. The best place ever. The best place ever. <laughs> Mozzie. <laughs> we just trying to have a peaceful day of reading, and here he come. <laughs> If there's anything we're gonna make sure we make time for, it's books. We probably spent more time going to the bookstore than we did going out, but honestly, I don't see anything wrong with that. Not even a year ago, we decided that we were gonna take our reading much more seriously, and instead of just focusing on, you know, all those mental health books and stuff, we were gonna have some leisure reading. And, Fun fact, I went home with 12 books in my luggage. Luckily, I get a free checked bag. Of course, the day I decide to leave, there's a marathon happening right outside. So I took the train to the airport, which was surprisingly much easier than taking an Uber. And praise God that the flight was smooth because I forgot to take my motion sickness pills. I landed back in New York City safe and sound and spent the next day working my ass off in Starbucks. Then, just like that, it was time for me to touch back down in Philly and reset for the rest of the work week. So, of course, I am back from Atlanta and I wanted to just dive into how I am now going to take the next 21 days to fast. If you've seen my TikTok, you will see that today is my day one and today didn't really go so well for me like terrible day one <laughs> instead of allowing the day to defeat me and to succumb to my emotions and my mood swings and all the other good stuff that comes with being a woman and having anxiety about like taking my time and doing things i'm gonna backtrack and give myself as i said the space to just breathe for this fast i like originally was making it like you know all about hitting goals and uh getting refreshed like spiritually mentally emotionally physically and such and of course it will encompass all of that however i am also making sure to just acknowledge that each day of this fast is not going to be perfect and i am not always going to wake up and abide by the set schedule that I gave myself. Like, I'm human and it's okay for me to operate as a human. And how could I even properly fast if I'm not being kind to myself along the way because this is not something that I typically do. <laughs> so during this journey, I am going to make sure that I am reading more. I am going to make sure that I am journaling, that I am talking to God, that I am in my Bible, that I am practicing my yoga and doing strength training and meditating and making sure that there are greens and veggies incorporated into nearly all my meals and just better taking care of myself from the inside to the out. But on those days that I will, you know, falter or I will, you know, deter from this fast or I have difficulties maintaining and such, it's okay. It is perfectly fine. And there's nothing wrong with me making a mistake as I take this 21 day journey. So join me for these next 21 days of wins of struggles of changes of me just trying to trying to get back to where i need to be 
like mentally physically emotionally spiritually like i've disconnected a lot i've not been treating my body or my mind well and i want to take these 21 days to really build back the discipline that i had like literally a few weeks ago over the last year of my life and i'll talk about this in another episode <laughs> another episode another video but i have improved so much and i am living in so many things i've prayed for that sometimes i just cannot believe it and sometimes i think about the things that i still don't have that i'm still praying for and so this 21 days is to really bring me back here and to live in the here and appreciate right here and right now because i love my life i love my life and i need to start moving and acting as if i do so Let's get busy on this 21 day journey and stay tuned for more. Bye. Why you talking to me like you be like why you always want to be right?